Okay, I am back for part three of this platform demo. Uh, this video, uh, we're going to quickly talk about Reamaze Live and Reamaze FAQ. And if we have time, we'll just cover a status page, okay, depending on you know how quickly we get through these. Um, now, Reamaze Live is a very unique feature as well. Um, it's designed to give you insights into your customer activities and offer you more ways to engage with customers uh, on a kind of... Uh, situation by situations basis okay um, now we looked the reamaze chat earlier right we started a conversation uh, we had a chat and we're currently on the website um, reamaze live let's take a look at this one so let's so if we're on the main dashboard here the first place where you'll see reamaze live in action is these little green dots okay these little green dots will indicate um, whether or not that particular customer who messaged you or emailed you is on your website. And we know this because one, they're authenticated, we know who they are. And if not authenticated, they, they still see the Reamaze JavaScript, right? As long as they can see the chat widget that's running on your website, we can track them, okay? So we know when they're online. And the benefit of this is you can choose to engage with people or you can re respond to the conversations um, for customers that are online uh, in higher priority. That means, you know, if they're online, you might as well talk to them now, right? Uh, and try to solve their problem, help them out with finding a product, uh, whatever that may be, this little green dot will tell you if they're online. Um, if we click into a conversation, for example, uh, the second instance where you'll see Reamaze Live in action is here, right? We saw a little bit of that um, when we were talking about the Reamaze inbox, uh, but it indicates again that the customer is online, if they have something in their shopping cart, if they have any recent activity, and you can click on peak to see their screen, right? So we covered, kind of covered that already. Um, now, if we go on, if we look on the left hand side here, there's actually a full live dashboard. Now, this is where things get where things get a little bit more fun. Um, I only have one user right now, so it's not too it's not super exciting. But imagine this for your business or uh, for your brand, right? If you have a website and they're and you're running a holiday sale, um, and there are like 500, 600 people on your website right now. This will show you everyone who's online right now. This is different from, um, you know, the real-time uh, feature that Google Analytics will have. Google Analytics actually uses what's called, um, uh, it's called, what is it? It's called like it. it ba it's based on historical data, so it's not necessarily that someone's online. And even if they were, uh, that number might not be very accurate. So if you see like 500 or, or, or 600 on Google Analytics real time, uh, that might not actually be true. Um, the other thing is that's not really useful for you, right? You can just see, you know, yes, there are people online. Um, you know, there, there, aren't, there aren't very many people online or there are a lot of people online right now. But Remains Live is designed to do a lot more than that. So if we know who the customer is, we'll display their name. If not, we'll just show guest user, right? And we'll show you their IP address. Um, everyone who's online will have their current URL displayed. That means they're currently on the home page or they're, they're, they're looking at a specific product. We'll also show you their geolocation and, and time zone, as well as how um, active, or how uh, recently active they were, right? Um, you can also search for live users. So you can search by URL fragments. So each of your products or collections will have a, you know, have a unique URL. So you can actually search uh, by that URL. So you can, for this one, I'm just gonna search, you know, my Shopify, right? So that's only gonna show me that one user, right? It says one user online matching search. Um, you can also search by city name like San Jose, right? One user matched. You can search by state, right? You can even search by country. Um, just had a Freudian slip there. So uh, United States, you can see that there's also one user matching. Now you can search by name, you can search by email. Um, so this is really useful if you have some salespeople that are using uh, Reamaze, uh, the Reamaze dashboard and on Reamaze Live. Um, you can also use this for you know proactive uh, customer support people. And if you see someone looking at a high ticket item, might as well reach out to them and say and see if they ha if they need any help, right? And see if you can try to convert them. If you click on a customer, uh, you'll be able to see some additional data. Uh, this is kind of similar to what you saw earlier, except now there is the ability to actually message them. So let's try this. Um, so I have everything closed as the customer. So I'm going to go here and click message. 
Um, if you don't want to be too creepy, um, you might not want to mention them by name. You can just say, you know, hi there, uh, can I help you find something? I will do that, click send, and the customer will instantly receive that message in real time. Okay, so the live dashboard again is available um, in our pro and plus plans. Okay, um, there is the ability to to search users to see everyone who's online, see what's in their shopping cart, track their recent activity, uh, and also the ability to uh, co-browse their uh, their uh, their screen. Okay, so that's Reamaze Live, uh, short and sweet. Uh, the, the next core feature I want to cover is the Reamaze FAQ. Okay, so the FAQ, I, I mentioned numerous times already through, through this demo, it's very, very powerful. We recommend everyone to use it. Uh, but let's start from the beginning. Um, so you can build your ReMAs FAQ content by clicking on articles. Okay, now we can't automatically import what you currently have. So if you have an FAQ on your Shopify site or your BigCommerce site or your WooCommerce site, we can't just automatically grab all that content and put it into your Reamaze dashboard. You'll have to uh, copy and paste some of that content over. We do have an API though that you can use to kind of import articles automatically. Um, but you know, if you if you don't have a developer that you can work with, um, you'll have to just copy and paste over the content. Okay. Um, what you want to do first is you can create topics. Okay. So when you create a new topic, um, we'll ask you, you know, what store is this for? Give it a topic name. And if there are existing articles uh, without a parent topic, you can actually select some of these articles to put into this topic, okay? Um, after that topic has been created, you can then create articles. So if you create a new article, um, you can select the topic that it's for, okay? So let's say, you know, account questions, give it a title, and you can start composing your article. Um, now, this is pretty standard. What you see is what you get HTML. So just start typing. Uh, you can bold, you can add bullet points, you can add a numbered list, you can embed an image, you can embed a video, you can embed a table, you can add some code blocks, some quotes, whatever you want, you can compose here. If you're more comfortable using Markdown or HTML, you can switch over to the Markdown or HTML tab. Okay. There's also a preview button to help you uh, see what you've created. Okay. Um, you can insert emojis as well as um, uh, existing article links, right? So if you have another article that is basically, you know, this article referencing that one, you can easily drop that link in here. You can also add meta keywords. So this will help uh, in a lot of ways. So uh, remember, uh, if you guys go back to the previous video, we talked about the FAQ chatbot. Well, the chatbot requires several things. One, it's the title. It does look at the title. Uh, it does look at the body content, but it also looks uh, at the keywords that you have here. Now, you don't, as with any like keyword system, you don't want to overstuff it, right? Uh, because it will then create a lot of false positives. So keep it, you know, very succinct. So if this article is about shipping, um, type shipping um, or questions about shipping, right? So you can add some keywords in here that are directly related to this specific article. Okay, and then you can set the draft. Uh, you can set the article status either to draft, okay, which is only editable. You can have it published uh, publicly. You can also have it be an internal article. That means it's not listed anywhere. There's no URL tied to it. Um, it's only for internal references. Or you can have it as unlisted. This is just like an unlisted YouTube video. It's not searchable. Um, you don't see it publicly. But there is a URL attached to it. Okay, so you can start. You can send these articles out using a URL. Okay, um, and Reamaze's FAQ uh, does help with your SEO as well. There is we do have we do index your 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 articles with all the major search engines. Um, so this is a great way to boost kind of your content marketing or SEO strategy. Okay, um, when you're done creating all of your topics and articles, you can uh, sort them. Okay, so you can drag and drop the ordering of the topics. And if you want to sort the articles, just click sort articles, and then you can drag and drop the ordering of each of these articles. Okay, uh, all very straightforward. Now let's talk about the use cases for the Reamaze FAQ. The first use case is having its own landing page, right? So if we look at you know daffydemo.reamaze.com, this is the public facing site of your Reamaze FAQ. 
Um, if you have the pro plan, you can also map this to your own custom domain. So it, it may be like help.acmecompany.com or support.mycompany.com, right? You can have it be on its own domain. Um, everything here is customizable using HTML and CSS. Um, there are some structural things that you cannot change, like you, the, the relationship between topics and articles. Uh, but you can change a lot of this um, that you see here. You can change the header, or you can make it fatter or skinnier, you can make it um, you know, narrower, you can change the colors, you can add a background image, um, you can make this shorter, you can change the text, so on and so forth. Um, but this is the public facing site, okay? And if I click on a specific topic, it'll take me to that list of articles. And if I click on an article, it'll show me that article. Um, and then it'll show me what's next in this particular topic or any other related articles, okay? Uh, and this is associated by the keywords that you've input, okay? Uh, the second place that you can use, oh, again, uh, by the way, not again, by the way, you can actually add Reamace chat into your public facing FAQ. So this is another great way to educate customers and if they need further help, they can engage with you through live chat or talk to a chat bot, okay? Um, the other way that you can use the FAQ is actually embedded on your site. So this is the, the demo website that we had earlier. So if I click on FAQ, uh, this part that loads here, this is actually powered by ReMAs. So essentially, um, if you're using the ReMAs FAQ, uh, we just recommend you replace whatever you have now with the embedded version for your website, okay? That way you can actually keep all of your content the same across the board, and it's still a very good experience, okay? The other way to use your FAQ is again, is in chat, okay? So you can click on the little help icon and this will display a list of articles, right? You can use it for help center search, okay? And lastly, you can use it to train the FAQ chatbot that you saw in part two uh, of this platform demo, okay? Um, the FAQ of course is again, usable within um, all the conversations that you're having with customers as well. So if I click on a conversation here, um, I can easily just type forward slash, you know, shipping, right? And this will pull up all the shipping related articles and you can just insert them here. Okay, uh, short and sweet again for the Reamace FAQ. Um, very straightforward, but a very powerful uh, feature to have uh, in, in, your, in your toolkit. Okay, um, the last feature I wanna talk about is the status page. Okay, and the status page is fairly new to the Reamace family. Um, but we talked about a little bit of that already in the previous video. It's really important to have a status page. Um, as a reputable business, you want to build trust and you want to show your customers that you're transparent about the things that are happening within your business. Obviously, you don't have to share everything, right? Um, so the status page allows you to inform customers when there's a problem going on, whether that's delayed shipping or you're having you know, logistical issues somewhere or there's a bug in one of the software programs that you use. Uh, but the status page allows you to alert customers ahead of time so they're not surprised. And you know, if they're not surprised, they're not bogging your customer service team down with repeated questions like, hey, uh, is this broken or how come this isn't working? Well, if you tell customers that beforehand, they might not write in about it and you actually make them happier. Okay, and they trust you more and they're more likely to convert. Um, so the, the, this, one, this feature here, public status page, um, if we look at the FAQ here, um, there is a little prompt up at the top if you have uh, any incidents that's, that are going on with any of your business systems. So if I click view status here, this will show me, you know, there's a winter storm here, there's a software bug, there's, a, there's plant maintenance, and we will also show your system statuses. So when you create these status pages, you can create a list of system statuses, okay? Uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm going to go to the settings menu, and we're going to look at status page. If we click on systems, this will allow you to create all of the uh, business systems that might affect customers. In this demo, we're just gonna use you know, inventory management system, warehouse logistics, payment processing, um, customer service center, right? And then you can change the statuses of these business systems based, based on the incidents that are going on, right? So now if we look at all the incidents, um, you can create these incidents. Let's say we add a new incident, give it a name, uh, tell us which store it's for or which brand it's affecting and what the status is right now. Has it been identified? Has it, are you guys monitoring it? Has it already been resolved? Right? And then give customers a good description of what's going on. And then you can say, you know, this incident that I just created is currently affecting payment processing, 
but payment processing currently is only uh, is only degraded in terms of performance. It's not completely out, right? It's not a major outage. It's just degraded performance, right? Um, as soon as you publish these incidents, uh, customers will be, to be will be able to see that on your public FAQ under the the status page, okay? And again, the status page is also shown here inside Reamace Chat, okay? As you can see, this little warning. And also uh, access the details by clicking on view status. They can see the same content here as is shown here. Okay. And if they choose to contact you, again, this, the, the status is displayed before they can message you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at what else is, is, is new here. So status page updates before chat, incident histories, uh, real-time updates, right? And then we have some, um, uh, some additional features that you can read through about status pages here. Okay. All right. Um, so that about covers it for uh, all of our core features. So those were the five core features that we went through: the shared inbox, Reamaze Chat, Reamaze Live, Reamaze FAQ, and then the status page. Um, let's see. This video is still fairly short, so I do want to cover one other really important feature. Um, actually, let's table that for another video. Um, I'll create a part four for this. And we'll talk about intents because it's going to be a centerpiece uh, for more custom chatbots and it's a really powerful machine learning tool. So I, I think it kind of deserves its own video. So I'll come back to you guys in a few minutes um, or you can just click you know, on the next video. See, see you guys soon.